provided a good living for me and my family. Uh, put my girls through school. Uh, gave us a good lifestyle. Um, so, thank you for being there because without the fans, there wouldn't be rest and there wouldn't be the demolition. Oh yeah, I, I've mentioned it many times. If, if it's not for the fans buying the tickets and coming to the matches, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't be there. There wouldn't be a demand for us. And I think nowadays, uh, some of the wrestlers, not all, but some wrestlers don't appreciate that. You know, if you don't buy the pay-per-views, you don't buy the tickets, you don't buy the merchandise. Uh, and that's that's really why I enjoyed one of these Legends reunions, because when we were involved actively traveling all the time, you didn't have time to go out and meet and greet. Right. You know, you'd sign a couple autographs on the way to the car or to the plane or something, but you could sit down and chat. And, and the fans know more but about us not. than we know about yeah. us. Because I forget that, you know, you're involved in it. When you're in the force, you don't see all the trees. You know what's funny, too, is uh, all the promotions that you've been with, you know, not one of those bosses or anybody ever says hi or calls you. How are you doing? How's your body doing? Yeah. You know, Merry Christmas. You know, how's the family? Not one of them that yeah. we've ever worked for have ever done that. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Crazy business. And you give your life right. to these yeah. people. Yeah. You know? And uh, it, it's it's weird. It's you know I've had other jobs where my old bosses have called me up. How's things going? You yeah, know? but I mean, not it, not in the wrestling business. It's a meat factory. You're just a product. And, uh, once you realize that, you don't take it personal. Right. A lot of guys they get let go for some reason, and you know there's a, there's a depression that sets in. But when you realize that it's not really against you. They're just getting somebody else. The nature of the business. Yeah, and it's that's part of the business. I mean, it's like ball players getting traded. And when you equate it to that, you know, the guy's playing for the Falcons or playing for Minnesota Vikings or the Carolina, that he gets traded. They're not really cutting because they don't like you. They think they got a better situation. Right. If you take it personal, I mean, you can really get depressed. No, you, well, you know, it was about a year ago I called up to the WWE and you know talked to Johnny Ace, you know, because they – Helped him get in the business and Joe's brother. Right. And I said, John, you know, is there any agents' jobs open up there? What what's going on? You know? He says, Well, you know, we're letting go a couple guys, you know. I says, Well, you know, I'm if there's an opening, give me a call. I'd love to go in there. And he just laughed, you know. I was like, There ain't no way you're getting a job up here. Yeah. And he said, Well, uh, I'll call back in a couple of weeks, you know. Then you start calling and it's like, Who is this? Yeah. Barry Darso? Who were you? You know, wow. I mean, I mean, it's that's crazy. Oh, it's it's something, you know.